keep um, challenging ourselves to, to improve it and make it better each and every year, uh, both um, for those of us in the room and for those of us who aren't participating. And just a couple of thoughts along those lines. One is I think the true strength of the IGF, as we talk about every year, is its ability to self-improve. And for all of us, uh, you know, from a bottom-up way to help um, innovate and change the process each and every year. And I, I look at what we talked about this year, uh, a discussion on principles, a discussion on, on internet governance more generally. Uh, we had the innovation last year of thinking about um, the scenarios. So I think, you know, it, to me, we're doing our job if each year we come here, we're having a different discussion while also building on what we've done before. And uh, it's also worth thinking about the fact that we're here at an IGF USA, and that was not something that was planned to be part of the process, the, the development of the national and re regional IGFs. And Marilyn, I think you have the number, but isn't it something like 25 to 30 events worldwide this year happening on a national or regional basis in addition to the global meeting. So for those who are initially criticizing the IGF as just a talk shop that meets once a year, I think that really helps to show it's actually spurring more ongoing activity and a willingness and an interest in having this multi-stakeholder discussion on a more regular basis, which is, which is great.